The issue of whether or not we have free will is tied up with the debate regarding whether the universe is deterministic or indeterministic. Compatibilism is the view that free will is compatible with determinism. Incompatibilism is the view that free will is not compatible with determinism. People often talk past each other when debating the reality of free will because they are arguing from different definitions of free will. For example, if someone defines free will to mean that choices and actions are made free from any external constraints that might be imposed upon them, where choices and actions are consistent with what they want to do, as the philosopher David Hume argued, one has defined free will in a way that is by definition compatible with determinism. This definition of free will makes no reference to the need for different possible outcomes, any of which might really happen. If one defines free will in this way, well, then simply by definition, free will is compatible with determinism and one can be a compatibilist. Of course, if you define free will in a way that is compatible with determinism, it's hardly surprising that you will think that free will is compatible with determinism. Alternatively, if someone defines free will as the ability to make reasoned choices among several options, any of which might really happen, well, this is by definition incompatible with determinism because under determinism, only one outcome can ever really happen. If you are an incompatibilist, meaning that you hold that free will is not compatible with determinism, and if you also believe that the universe is deterministic, then you will be a hard determinist and reject the possibility that we have free will. For example, if you believe that a character in a movie cannot have free will because they cannot really do otherwise in the movie, because all outcomes in the movie are fixed before we even hit play, and if you also believe that the universe unfolds like such a deterministic movie, well, you will reject the idea of free will. Now, if you are an incompatibilist, meaning that you hold that free will is not compatible with determinism, and you believe that the universe is not deterministic, but that indeterminism nonetheless is mere randomness and so cannot buy you a free will, then you will also reject the possibility that we have free will. In this case, you will be a so-called hard incompatibilist. But if you are an incompatibilist who believes that the universe is not deterministic, you can develop what is known as a libertarian conception of free will. The view of free will advocated in this course is a libertarian conception of free will. In the next segment, we will argue that there are really two types of libertarian free will.